Why is the Labour Party so against Theresa May's deal? Uh, because it's a bad deal for Britain. It's a deal that will destroy jobs, that will threaten rights, that will be costly. Um, it bears no resemblance, by the way, to anything that was promised by the Leave campaign in the referendum, and therefore we are against it. But Theresa May has said this is the best deal possible. What makes you think more negotiations uh, will, will bring about a better deal? Because the European Union has said that this is the only deal on the table. Yes, the European Union said that's the only deal on the table, given the British government's red lines. Now, if you had a very different offer from Britain, uh, one, for instance, to remain inside the customs union at least, then you would, be, you would have the possibility of getting a different result. The other possibility, of course, is if we don't want to leave without a deal, which we don't, and we've rejected the deal on the table and then no other alternative deal emerges, then, of course, you have to reconsider Brexit itself, which an increasing number of people in Britain are asking us to do. So is the likelihood of a second referendum on the cards? It's something that has grown in likelihood immensely over the last few weeks. Um, there are also opinion polls now that show, some of them show a majority of British people would like a second referendum. That was not the case a few months ago. And certainly that a majority would vote to remain if there were a new referendum. From uh, what you said you didn't like about Theresa May's uh, current uh, Brexit deal, it seems that it's more than just the Irish backstop that you have issues with. Yes, the Irish backstop is an obsession of the right wing of the Conservative Party. Uh, Labour's criticism is much more fundamental. But the, uh, and it has a number of aspects to it, but the key one is that the government wants to take us outside of the customs union. That's not just a problem in terms of turning the Northern Irish border into a customs border and where you put the checks and all that. It's also extremely damaging for the British economy. Our manufacturing sector that relies on just-in-time delivery delivery from supply chains across the continent. Our exporters, most British exports, go to the rest of Europe. If you turn our borders into customs borders, you are causing an, a, a, a big economic hit to the British economy that will cost us many, many jobs. Now, yesterday, the Labour Party leader, Jeremy Corbyn, said in the House of, Parlam in the House of Commons that Theresa May sh should make way, essentially calling for the Prime Minister to step aside Will he be calling for a motion of no confidence? Yes, I think next week it's highly likely that Labour will table a motion of no confidence. We have a, 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 a resolution from our party conference, our Congress, which said very clearly that we should oppose any bad deal. This is a bad deal. If it's defeated, we should then call for a general election because, after all, this government will have failed in its central task. And um, if we don't get a general election, then we move on to other options, including the possibility of a public vote, a, a referendum, as it were, on, on the deal. OK, Richard Corbett, we're going to have to leave it there.